Yo, first thing, man, I, I gotta apologize. I don't usually do these kind of videos while I'm sitting here talking about a kid recruiting or coming to Jackson State or any other F, uh, HBCU. But this is the one position Jackson State did not need help in. And as, as of this moment, you know how they're going to change things? They have the number four receiver in the class of 2022 signed to them. You know what? Just play the damn highlights. You're kidding me, right, man? It's come to a point right now, it's like, what is Texas State trying to prove? We understand they built the foundation last year. But now, even in positions that we think that they're solid and stacked, they're getting icing upon icing upon icing on this cake. If the Jackson State talent pool was a cake right now, this man just gave y'all diabetes. You remember last year, the one thing that was missing we thought was that break, that speedster, that receiver, that, that just, just that deep threat. Well, we knew once Quandre Davis gets back in the, in the game, it's going to be Davis, Rucker, and Weidman and Hooks. Now, Davis, Rucker, Weidman, or maybe Coleman, Davis, <laughs> Rucker, Weidman, and Hooks. Dude, honestly, on talent alone, their, their receiving core is, is not, by and far the best damn receiving core in FCS. Hands down. On talent alone, their receiving core, I always say that they're lower power five. I'm going to tell you right now, on just, just on talent alone, man. This could be a starting five receiving core for for many um, power power five teams. Now th there are your exceptions. I'm not I'm not gonna get on this thing and be like you know all up on JSU's jock, but on the real, <laughs> talent alone. I mean, they, they keep stealing stuff from Miami and Florida State. I mean, you take out teams like Alabama, Georgia, just on talent-wise. Now, that's what someone's going to say. Well, Chris, technically, they haven't played one snap in college. That's why I keep saying talent. There's always a person who has to bring up talent. So when, once talent gets up there or gets brought, you have to prove it on the field. And hate it or love it, they have the freshman of the year at quarterback. There is no position on this roster that a FCS school can say they are significantly better than Jackson State. It's all up to the O-line. Can they jail? And can the D-line jail? If those two jail, this may be Madden on easy. <laughs> now, um, T.C. Taylor, or whoever Jack say has calling them plays, you have no excuse, man. None. This is an embarrassment of riches. I grew up a K-State fan. We would literally kill you to have this receiving core. I mean, dead serious. I 
All right, Jackson. If I was y'all, I would build a wall around Dion because I'm guaranteeing you the next time he steps in Florida, he may get hurt. <laughs> Let's go, Simmons.